video is a Project 5 Illustrator. We're going to generate an illust... We, we, the object of the um, project is to generate an illustrated uh, floor plan using Adobe Illustrator from output that we um, are going to generate uh, from our SketchUp model. So here's a view uh, in plan of the SketchUp model. We're using Dina's uh, uh, project as an example. So I'm looking at a plan. This section plane is four feet above the ground, which is typical for floor plans, cutting plane at four feet uh, horizontally above the ground. We're using a hidden line style because we're later going to use il Illustrator itself to il illustrate and colorize and otherwise uh, uh, um, add color, shadow, transparency, gradient, etc. in Illustrator. So uh, we have this view and we're going to save this view as a scene so we can come back to it. Click on Save as New Style so it preserves all the settings. We're going to create a scene and we're going to call this Illus Illustrated for plan P5 to remind us and save this file and now we're going to export an EPS 2D graphic of this plan file export 2D graphic. Make sure the output is set to EPS file. Then go into options. This is really important. And make sure the scale in hidden line uh, is uh, a real world uh, scale from one inch. And the SketchUp model is, is four feet. And we can accept the rest of these defaults. Hit OK. We've done this once before, so we're going to let's just export under a different file name. Once that's done, we're going to go into Adobe Illustrator and open that result. There it is, the latest version. And then the first thing you want to do is select this and see if we can make it a what's called a live paint object straight away so that we can infill uh, the walls um, to show that we're looking at this uh, floor plan in section. So click on the live paint bucket and then click on the drawing and you can see now this has become a live paint object and we can separately um, apply properties to the fill and stroke of the different elements in this drawing. Let's set the fill color double click on the fill value which by default there was set to none and put in a black Oops, let's change that to black from white. Hit OK. Now, you see anything that we move over with live paint that, that prompts us for fill, it's going to fill with black. So we're going to go around the drawing and fill in the perimeter walls. with black. So this is uh, otherwise called uh, poche style. Make sure you go right around the 
drawing. If you happen to export um, a color version of this, you can simply select the entire result and change it to um, black and white. So here we have uh, the beginning of our um, live paint of our Illustrator uh, file. So we have uh, the walls. In the next video we'll start to look at how we can apply uh, colorize the different um, tools available in, in Illustrator to bring this illustration to life.